for today I'm going to be filming a what's in my travel toiletries bag. This is the bag that I'm using and taking away this year. I did do one last year and everyone seemed to like it so I thought I would do like a new one because I've changed some of my products and also last year I was going on a coach trip so weight didn't matter but this year I'm going on a plane so it kind of does. The bag that I'm using is literally just from Primark. I think it was something like three, four pound and it's really good. It's massive so it fits loads of stuff in it. It has got like a little bit of foundation and makeup on it because I used it for when I did a um, performing at the Palace Theatre and I got like makeup on it. But other than that, it's really good. So I'm just going to go and dive straight on in here. So the first thing which I have is just a little mirror. This is from Essay Lorde. I got it in like a little um, set like months and months ago. But I think it's really good because sometimes when I don't have my glasses on, I can't always see like a mirror to do like my makeup and I'm like, eh. And sometimes I can't reach because I'm just small. So this way I don't have to like worry about that. I can just literally do my makeup through the mirror. Then I have a pack of Simple Kinda Skin Cleansing Facial Wash, face, Facial Wipes. Um, I know you shouldn't really use wipes on your face, it's like the necessity, but these are really, really good because I'm not going to take a cleanser. I've got a little bit of a toner, but I'm not really taking a lot of my makeup, a lot of my like facial products, so this is really good. As well, if I'm going like out at night and I want to redo my makeup, I can literally just wipe this off and I don't have to worry about like using harsh chemicals on my face. Then I have my L'Oreal Kids Super Tangle uh, Tangle Tamer. I mentioned this in my like I mentioned this one of these last year. I have really really knotty hair, and this just helps to get out the knots when I've been on that in the water because I don't like knotty hair, and so yeah. Um, then I just have a Batiste um, dry shampoo little mini. I don't have the lid for it, I lost it, and this is in Cherry. This is my favourite dry shampoo ever, and sometimes I don't always like washing my hair if I'm literally just going to go and dunk it in the sea. So I just think this is really good to like, add a bit of texture and just to make sure my hair doesn't look too dry or greasy. I have a toothbrush, which this is the coolest toothbrush in the world. Like you literally just like flick it up, I can't do it, there we go, flick it up, lift this bit and it's a toothbrush, how cool is that? I got some super drug and I just fell in love with the idea and then I literally just bend it and it goes like that. It's so cool. I have some toothpaste, this is Colgate Max Fresh with Cooling Crystal Cooling. Toothpaste is toothpaste, I suppose. Um, it's a little diddy bottle because I don't really need to bring like a big one with me. I have my Aroma water, Toning Water from Lush, love this product, mentioned this in my um, morning skincare routine, literally cannot go anywhere without it, it is so refreshing and when it's going to be really warm it's just going to be really like, nice and refreshing to just like pot all over my face in the morning or even at night. And then I have my shampoo and conditioner, I have the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo and Miracle Moist Conditioner. I love Aussie's like hair products, they are so good. I don't really understand why the condition, the shampoo stands up and the conditioner like is down. I don't know why they're both not like that. I don't understand the product design of that. But these are for damaged hair because my hair does get like a bit damaged in the sun and it and like we've straightened in it as well. And I really really like these. I love like I love Aussie like it's one of my favourites. Then I have the Simple Kind of Skin Refreshing Facial Gel. I absolutely love Simple, like the brand. I think they are so good, they really do my skin in the world of God. And so I had to pick up a facial gel just because I'm not going to have like any of my other facial products that I use. So knowing that I have a really good facial wash and a really good moisturiser is all that I'm really bothered about. So I made sure that I had a good facial wash. And to go with that, I have the Simple Kind of Skin Refreshing Rich Moisturiser. I freaking love this thing. I use this all the time. Like, I have so many bottles of this. I think I use this in my um, what, oh, my morning routine, my face routine. I just love it so much. It smells so good. And that's why I'm taking, like, a full-size bottle because I just think that it does my skin the world of good. I have a shower gel and I'm taking Prince Charming by Lush. Again, I love this product so much. I stocked up with this at Valentine's Day. It smells like Jaffa Cakes. It is beautiful and it's only like a little 500ml bottle so it's like perfect for travel size. And I didn't really want to like buy one when I knew that I had this in my house. And I just really like it. So I just thought, you know what, we're going to take this with me. And we're going to smell like Jaffa Cakes for the holiday. Then I have a deodorant and this is just the Nivea Anti-Invisible for black and white. 
kind of like it, the fact that it's black and white, just because sometimes when I'm like spraying under my arms, I kind of go like all over myself, and then I'll have like a white mark just on my boobs, or somewhere where I've like sprayed it and then forgot that it wasn't black and white, or it just like leaves white marks, and I'm like, oops. So this way I know that this isn't going to happen to me whilst I'm on my holiday. And then last, but definitely not least, I have my Long King Betty Say You Scrub Me Gentle Skin Buffer just to get rid of the dead cells and the dead skin because sometimes, especially when you're peeling, it's nice to just like scrub off all that dead skin and this does it really, really well. And that is everything which is in my travel bag this year. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is a little bit different from the one that I did last year but I will also pop that down in the description below. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next time.